Hey guys, someone asked me to do a uh, video today on uh, standing waves and uh, air columns. So I thought I might give you just guys just a brief introduction and a few examples there. So um, we talked a lot about this in class, and here we have a little summary of open, open, open ends and open closed ends. So we got two ends are open in this case. Um, one thing you really, really got to know, guys, for this stuff is the diagrams. Um, fundamental is the first harmonic. Um, second harmonic is equal to the first overtone, and that's also the second resonance. Second overtone, third harmonic, third resonance. Third overtone is equal to the fourth harmonic, um, fourth resonance. Here we have the fundamental with the open closed end. Uh, a fundamental is equal to first harmonic. First overtone is third harmonic, which is the second resonance. Second overtone is equal to the fifth harmonic, which is the third resonance. Third overtone is equal to the seventh harmonic, which is the uh, fourth resonance. So here we go. Um, this is closed at one end. So here we go. First harmonic is equal to the fundamental. And you see you got, just got a quarter of a lambda in here. Um, for this one, this is the third harmonic. It represents the first overtone, which is the first uh, second resonance. And uh, this is a three-quarters lambda. This one is the fifth harmonic, the third resonance, which is the third overtone. Okay, sorry, the second overtone, second overtone, third resonance. Okay, um, here this uh, no, tube open at both ends. This is the first harmonic, which is the fundamental, which is the first resonance. So you got half a lambda present there. Um, second harmonic, which is the uh, first overtone, second resonance. You got a full lambda present there, and then uh, third harmonic, second overtone, third resonance. You have uh, 1.5 of a lambda. So I know these. You got all these things. There's there's a tendency to want to memorize those things. I don't think you really need to do that, guys. I really think you just gotta be able to know what the diagrams mean, know what the labels mean. First overtone, second overtone, third resonance. Know all those interchangeable. Um, things and then if you can draw the diagram you can come up with the formulas quarter of lambda things like that what I think you should do is you should um, get a blank sheet of paper and try and draw out three of these things with all their correct labels okay and that's really that has that's how you should test yourself for this stuff and we got the same thing for standing waves like I said before if you got a tube it's gonna be one of the first type if you have a string let's close that both end Okay, so lowest frequency is the fundamental frequency is the first harmonic. The next frequency, first overtone, second harmonic, second resonance. Uh, third frequency, second overtone, third harmonic, third resonance. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You got a half a lambda there. This one, you got a full lambda. This one's 1.5 of a lambda, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and you can see the frequency just basically increased. This one's F1. This is twice F1. This is three times F1. So, um, yeah, so let's do a couple of examples. All right, so the difference between two consecutive resonant lengths in an air column closed at one end is 36 centimeters. So if the speed of sound is 33, uh, 30, uh, 335 meters per second, what is the fundamental frequency of the air column? So we're looking for, so first of all, we know F is equal to, or sorry, D is equal to F times lambda, okay? The wave equation, all right? Um, that's what we're looking for. So basically, we need to find our lambda. So the difference between two resonance lengths. So let's just assume we have this situation. So this is my first resonance. Oh, that's awful. Let's try it the other way. Here's my first resonance, okay? And present in that is a... Um, is one quarter of a lambda, okay? Now my second resonance looks like this. So it's gonna be difficult for me to draw here, guys, sorry. So it's gonna be like this, okay? And in present in this is three quarters of lambda. Now, um, the distance between uh, resonance lengths is 36 centimeters, okay? So the distance from here, which basically represents this thing, and this thing is 36 centimeters. 
So basically what we have here, that 36 centimeters is half a lambda. Okay, it's half a wavelength. So if I want to find the full wavelength, so my full lambda is going to be equal to 2 times 36 centimeters, okay, which is going to basically be 72 centimeters or 0 0.72 meters. All right, so now that I have that lambda, I can let V is equal to F. So my, uh, sorry, we're looking for frequency. So uh, V is equal to left lambda. So my speed is 333.335. My frequency, I don't know. My lambda is 0 0.72. So I'm going to divide F here. I'm going to divide 335. 335 divided by 0 0.72, and I get 465 hertz. 465 hertz. All right, that is my hertz there. All righty, and that's my final answer. Um, so keep in mind, this is the process what works so much. Okay. All righty, closed. Um, Closed air column resonates at a length of 15 centimeters, and again at a length of 21, uh, 51 centimeters. So um, really, you don't need both of these numbers to be able to find this, but you could do it a couple different ways here. So the first thing you could do is says that first lambda is 15 centimeters. So that's 15 centimeters right here. So present in that tube is one quarter lambda. Okay. So what I could have done there was simply just take that 15 centimeters. Recognize that lambda is going to be equal to 4 times 15, which is going to be 60 centimeters, or 0 0.60 meters. Now, I could have done it a different way. I could have used that 51 centimeters and recognize that's my second resonance length. A little bit longer. Looks like this. And that is 3 quarters lambda. Okay, so that is 51. 0.15 meters, I'll call it. Um, so if I want to find lambda this time, I have to multiply by 4 over 3, 0 decimal 1, 5. So I basically just have to multiply by cross multiply there. And um, that should be 5, 1, sorry. So if I do that, so I go. 4 times 0 decimal 5, 1, divided by 3, I get that, which doesn't make sense. Let's try it again. Sorry about that, guys. I just found out there's a mistake in this example. This shouldn't say, uh, I don't want to have to go back and redo this whole video, so this shouldn't say here um, 51. This should say 45. All right? So um, if I do that now, uh, decimal 4 5, I end up with, uh, again, 0 0.6 meters. And the difference between these two resonance lengths, we go, 45 subtract 15 and get me um, 30 centimeters. That represents the distance between antinodes or nodes. So I multiply that by 2 and I get my lambda again of 0 0.6 meters. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit better, guys. Uh, my pen gets in out here a bit here. I don't know why. Um, so that's my lambda. Okay. So again, I got a temperature of 15, uh, 12 degrees, so the speed of sound is equal to um, 333 plus 0 0.6 times 12 degrees. It's been a long time since I did this calculation. So I go, I think, I think it's 332 actually, I can't remember, anyway. Um, plus 0 0.6. 
6 times 12 is equal to um, 340 meters per second. So guys, I'm asking you to check this number here if it's 332 or 333. I can't remember. Um, I'm thinking it's 332. So now my V is equal to F lambda. I've got my V is 340. My Frequency I'm looking for my lambda is 0 0.6, so my v, my my v is just going to be those two divided. So 340 divided by 0 0.6, so 340 divided by 0 0.6, that's going to be equal to 567. So 567 hertz, and that's going to be my final answer. Okay. But sig vigs there, you probably have the round to 570. Okay? So 570 with sig vigs. All right, last problem. How much time do we have there? All right, you only got a couple minutes there. Um, so it says, standing wave pattern continues. Contains three antinodes produced on a six, six meter long string. So three antinodes. So we're looking one, two, three. Come back around. So there's my standing wave. And that, sir, is six meters long. Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is that um, this is half a lambda, half a lambda, half a lambda. So if we divide um, this by three, six divided by three, so that's equal to two. So these, this is two meters, two meters, two meters. So a full lambda is equal to um, four meters. Okay, um, and we can use that here to calculate the speed of the wave. Okay, so F or V is equal to F lambda. Frequency is 5.5. .5. My lambda is 4. So I end up with, um, let's see. Twenty-two, and I probably should have known that. 22 meters per second. All right, guys, I'm sorry about the last example, but again, it's a perfect example. Just put the number in there and work it out. Every example should work out like that, and hopefully it won't come across any of those. Um, I noticed that, that that happens in a couple of examples that I uh, that I that I copied and pasted from a, uh, another source that I found, so be careful in case you come across any of those, but just trust, uh, trust your instincts there, okay? All right, thanks a lot, guys. See you.